on that fact. You know, that, that slingshot sent on that Eddie always does, it's beautiful to see when you're not on the receiving end, but it sucked being on the other end of that senton. And see, but then I get a drop kick on the back of my head. I was starting to really wonder if I'd be able to win this. Incredible ring awareness, respect. You know, I've, I've always said that it was always very cool. I take this back to Halloween Havoc. I try to get fancy with him. He pulled me off the apron immediately. So this time, I made sure I ended up on top in the ring. But again, always Eddie. He knew and had incredible ring awareness. Another backbreaker. I was really wondering if this was just not gonna be my night. see this often and I was really surprised to see HBK make such a basic error. There's no other way. If that 619 connects, I'm thinking to myself, it's over. I remember Sean biting. Suplex. But when I knew what JBO was doing to me after, and I'm glad I didn't, because I would have got right back up and kicked him in the face. I remember hitting JBO with the baseball slide drop kick right at the side of his legs. And Kane already had me in big trouble. Anytime he hits you, takes you out. Now this move I love. In the back of my head, I knew that Kane had more left in the tank, but I was gonna try to do anything I could to try to pin him and win. Definitely a little let down that he kicked out, but I just had to stay focused and on top of him. I always liked everything I could to hook him and put him into the stairs with the drop toe hold. Here's where I took all my chances, it was now or never. I had to put Kane away. And I was going to empty my tank if I needed to. Yes. Stuck the bat that I could sprint with him. No problem. I'm defending my championship, you know? That meant some more high-risk Lucha Libre 2. Thank you when he went for broke here. But he also showed his experience when he let me regroup right next to him while this was all going down and he was throwing his tantrum. Can't do that when you're against me. 
I knew Batista's game plan from the get-go was gonna be to manhandle me. So I just say in effect, it definitely did the trick. Wanted to get a little out of his element. So I just drop kick him back down to reality. He gave me a chance to reset the match uh, just a little. I was going out on my sword, you know? If I had any breath left. shook. Unfortunately for me, he was more than ready for that plan. But I'd seen the blood. I'd heard him. He was human. Really, going aerial is always a double-edged sword. Coming and in an instant had me struggling to get my breath once again. What could I do to this guy to stop him? Maybe I had come in taking Miz a little lightly. But I can tell you, after I kicked out here, I understood that I was going to be in it. I just... Miz took advantage when I let frustration take over for a second. And that DDT that he hit me with had me seeing stars. Maybe he didn't get the pin there. Joe thought he could just do whatever he wanted of me. Look how he just took I definitely overestimated the damage I'd done to Joe at this point. He just waited for me to come to him. to get creative if I was going to win over Joe. Never had someone just block the 619 before like that. Joe's lethal, and I had to act fast. Precision beats power, correct? Placed the boot perfectly and got myself a little time. From the second he grabbed me, I knew right away that he was here to make a statement. He brought As I ran and I go to hit it, he pulled out and then just rolled me up. One, two, kick out. I was like, wow, okay. I knew at the beginning of this that he was gonna bring a fight, but he really brought the fight. This was like peanut butter and jelly. I hit the senton, and right after that, it's the not backing down from anything. And that Rana, man, I don't remember even being knocked out so hard off a of Rana. Normally it's me giving them, not taking them. I still had the fight within me. Kicked out at two, but I had to stay sharp if I wanted to leave with my hand raised. Now this match had been non-stop back and forth action, and I knew we were both getting a little tired in there. Honestly, I was, and I thought he was as well. So. We obviously want to get our payback here, but I definitely had a moment where it just hit me. I'm teaming up with my son. We're doing a double team combination in the middle of that ring. It was really hard to stand on the apron. When Dominic kicked him off, 
I was more relieved he was okay than I was that I was back in the match. Seth woke me up a little when he told Murphy to kick me in the head, so I was ready. Here is your winner, and still, the WCW Cruiserweight Champion, Eddie Cole.